how do we lead differently so that we can continue to raise our impact. Every industry on earth is accelerating over the next 10 years. In the next 100 years, the amount of change we'll see is 20,000 times what we saw in the last 100 years. So we went from new to cars to people living on space stations. What does 20,000 times that look like? And whether it's 20,000 times or 100 times that, it still means our worlds are gonna be really different. The phrase I really like is, I'm not competing with AI for my job, I'm competing with people who don't use AI for my job. So if Matt and I are competing, I don't know anything about AI, there's one job opening for CIO, the person who is more comfortable and more competent using artificial intelligence is gonna get the role above the person who has resisted. And I think that will be, for a significant amount of time, a major differentiator. So if I'm on kind of the AI bandwagon, I'm getting comfortable with something that I may not like and I may not be comfortable with innately, and I may even think shouldn't be happening. Whether or not you like that this trend is happening, it is happening. My encouragement is play with the stuff, experiment with it, find something that's fun. So I actually named the company Innovative Leadership Institute because I watched leaders who had been successful in their lives not update how they think and do leadership. They updated the thing they were doing. So actually I'm thinking right now of a CIO who was hired with big fanfare, he's amazing. Six years later he was let go because he wasn't amazing. It wasn't that he was less amazing, it was that he was less current. And as the organization had changes, he still remained a good technologist, he did not remain a good leader. One of my favorite characters in history is Albert Einstein. And what I want people to take away from this is the mind of the scientist. So we talked about go play with chat GPT, go play with AI, go experiment. And I say that with caution, good scientists don't blow themselves up. They don't blow anything else up. So find safe experiments to do. We tend to worship or admire people who are superheroes. And the caution with resilience is even superheroes burn out. The best leader is someone who, who takes care of themselves physically, takes care of their families, makes sure their finances are in order. They show up to work, able to work and focus. I can't lead others and be trustworthy if I'm not showing up and doing my best version of myself. Having curiosity about what works, how things might work differently. If someone does something that we think doesn't make sense, asking the question, why? Help me understand. Sounds very different than what'd you do this time? So as leaders, even if I'm the top person in the organization, since the world's changing, I need to continue to learn and grow. While some people get more credit and more visibility, the system only works with all of us, absolutely all of us. And so I'm on the stage, Dan and Devin are back in the back, it looks like it's me, it's us. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without everyone. And that's not just lip service. Literally, I count on the people around me, you count on the people around you. We can't accomplish our goals without every single person being their best, contributing their best, continuing to grow.